Damn that boy fresh. I rolled him on my first try. Let's get started. Overall is the very first character that we are getting that has the ability to not only heal himself, but heal his teammates. He can also use his special action to counter individuals to get him out of a bind. Now the first quirk you want to level up is your Gamma Quirk, which is a Coffin of Absolute Shackles. This is your stun. So since it's your stun, you want to get it to level 4 so you can increase the number of rounds you can stun people more frequently. Your next quirk is going to be your Alpha, of course. It's going to be easy to hit, and it's your easy damage dealer. It's going to be primary damage dealer, so you're going to get your Alpha all the way up to level 9. Once your Alpha is all the way up to level 9, you can go back to your Gamma, level that one up to level 9, and then finish up all the rest of your levels going over to your Beta, which is still a great skill, good damage dealer, but it's the hardest one to hit, and that's why we're going to save that one for last. So on to the tips, as I said earlier, overall's alpha is extremely good alpha. I think it's on the higher end, on the higher tier. As you can see, it's medium range, not long range, but it's a really good range still. You can still snipe a lot of people with that at that distance. The projectile that you shoot explodes on impact, so it hits a, a pretty big surface area. And it just allows for like so many like movement plus like alpha quirk capabilities. So as you can see, I'm like bouncing around, just shooting it comfortably. Like it's, I, I love this quirk, really, really solid alpha quirk. Now you can use the alpha quirk to get really quick finishes in as well, but really that's where the beta quirk shines at. If you want to finish people really quickly, just spam that beta on them, and that is a quick kill. I think probably like three betas at level nine, but uh, don't quote me on that. But I'm, right now I'm, I'm going with three betas at level nine should be able to kill somebody. Now if you hit somebody with your beta attack the first time, the second hit is always going to be guaranteed. So that's a little combo for you right there. Your alpha and your beta both have very similar ranges. Your beta probably goes a little bit further than the alpha does, so you can definitely use it for third parties um, for a little bit extra damage since it does do a little bit more damage than the alpha does, but the alpha still might be just easier to hit overall. Now for the bread and butter. The gamma skill is very similar to Todoroki's ice stomping skill. It's very similar to that, but you can't ride on it. This quirk is your bread and butter because it's going to be used to set up all your combos. Now, of course, you can use Gamma and then Alpha immediately after. It's going to be the easiest one. However, if you use your Gamma and then your Beta, it does the most damage, but you have to use your Beta instantly after you use that Gamma. Otherwise, you're just going to miss. Also, the damage that you do in that combo is going to be based off of how many spikes you can have hit the actual opponent in the attack. So as you can see, the second time I did this, I actually did more damage. At level 1, this quirk is a short range ability with not very much distance, but at level 9, it goes all the way up to similar ranges of the alpha and the beta quirk. However, at level 9, the wide blast radius shares that short range and then goes narrower the further down you go. So it's actually way easier to hit at closer ranges once you're at level 9. Now, I do like to use a gamma quirk as my primary get off me attack. So if somebody is like really close to me or trying to melee, I'll use that gamma quirk to get them off me really quickly. But the beta, of course, is really good for that too. The only reason I like to use the gamma is because of that stun. But if the gamma's out, I'm gonna start sticking to the beta for that get off me when people are really close. I just need to back them up off me. It works just as good. Now, Overhaul's quirk skill set is very similar to Assault Shigaraki, Rocky, so it's going to be played in a very similar way, and that's going to be aggressively and putting a lot of pressure on people. The only difference is that Overhaul does not have any movement, but he does have his special action, which is what we're going to get on to next. Overhaul's special action allows him to do three different things. One, heal himself. Two, heal his teammates. And three, counter abilities. He is crazy. An important note is that if you heal yourself while you are missing shield and health, it will always return you back to full health and half shield. However, if you are only missing a portion of your shield, then it will give you that 50% value and add it onto whatever portion you are missing. So basically only heal yourself when you're missing a significant amount of shield and health so you can get that full value. Also healing yourself or a teammate takes both charges of your special action, so make sure you're only using it after you've used that first charge as a counter, because that's what one charge is going to be used for countering. Now your heal when using it on your teammate will heal them to full health no matter what. Now if you press your special action button while you're near any enemy, you will hit them with a small attack that does a little bit of damage, but it can be used in any moment, doesn't matter what's happening, whether you're being grabbed, attacked, whatever, so it's essentially a counter and a quick get out of get out of melee free move. So any character that can stun lock or grab you, there's gonna be a great counter to those characters and immediately afterwards you can pop a heal because this counter only takes up one charge, which means you can use the second charge to heal yourself immediately afterwards. That's all I got for you guys for this character. I'm going to be releasing a new gameplay video soon, so please like and subscribe to get the notification on that. I'm going to catch you boys later. It's your boy HT. We out. Watch the rest of my videos.